if I'm not here on campus, me and my housemates, we go down to the beach usually. We have beautiful beaches here in Adelaide. Things are not so far, you know what I mean? So you can go to the beach, it's about 10, 20 minutes. There's a lot of sports games. The beach, Brighton or Glenelg, they're both really lovely beaches. Every second Wednesday, we have a Tonsley night, which is our local pub. Sometimes there's themes, which is really fun and it's just a good relaxed night. Everyone talks to different people, enjoys the drink specials and all that sort of thing. There's sporting events between the other colleges in Adelaide, so that's a good chance to socialise with students from other colleges. So there's cricket, and volleyball, table tennis, swimming, footy, netball, there's heaps. We usually go to Marion a few times a week. There's lots to do there. You can go bowling, go to the movies, shopping. Sometimes we go into the city. There's usually some sort of festival on, so there's lots, lots to do. Yes. 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 The clubs, the pubs. Yeah, there's a lot of activities to do around the city and around Flinders as well. Generally with young adults, often they've moved out of home for the first time, so they're exploring the world in, in the way that young adults do. So we get issues with uh, homesickness, some depression. There's a lot of pressures on adults today, and that's the things that come out when they're exposed to this type of environment, and that's what we work hard to deal with. Which one? Well, the term tutor has been around since the hall was first set up. The position used to entail a lot of academic assistance. Nowadays, the colleges usually use the phrase residential assistant because the position is not entirely academic. It usually entails a lot more of other areas like pastoral care. We each have an area of about 24 to 25 residents and we are adamant that they make it to the end of the year and that they study and they pass. And the most important way we can do that is to make sure that they're happy and healthy. We try to foster an environment where everybody feels comfortable. So it doesn't matter where you're from or, or what you're into, you should be welcome to be who you are in this environment. As a management team, we actively assess our risk management. So we will look, for example, the fire procedures. Our tutors are all first aid trained, as are all the staff. We keep our first aid up to date. The Flinders Medical Centre is a five minute walk just down the hill. It's a, obviously a fantastic asset to have right next door with an emergency department there. We have a very close relationship with health and counselling on main campus and any student that has any issues, we will send a student and sometimes go with them across to health and counselling to introduce them and they can get some professional guidance. Yeah, safety is paramount. We dot every I and cross every T to make sure that we have a safe environment. We've got 22 full-time staff. They're split between the office and the administration and the res life areas, maintenance, housekeeping, and then we've got some permanent staff in the kitchen as well. We've also got 23 residential staff. So all up, we have around 45 staff. The start of the year, the end of the year, the busiest. So it's people moving in, moving out. Also mid-year, we have a mid-year intake, so it gets really crazy around then. The front office is open 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. The tutors take over after hours. There's always a staff member on duty. 
So if something goes wrong with something in the residents' rooms, they come down and report it to the office if it's during business days. We have maintenance forms here at reception where they can fill that out, give that into us, we'll pass that on to maintenance, and they will actually go and fix that for them. <laughs> We have our own in-house workshop where we can do a little bit of fabrication ourselves. It's a place which is pretty well resourced so we can look after most minor electrical faults and, and some basic plumbing that we need to take away. And we do our own testing and tagging for the electrical goods. So the workshop's there so we can do it in-house and on-site and on time. With a place this big we use in the order of several million litres of water each month. Um, we produce 750 meals a day out of the kitchen, so there's a significant amount of resources go into doing that. We have over 70 washing machines, 70 dryers. We have three commercial laundries that operate. We run two vehicles on site as well. We have permanent plumbing going on in the place, and uh, it's one of those places that really never stops. Um, there's always something happening, there's always something being fixed, there's always something being made better. It's just one of those places that really ticks over. We do have a limited number of scholarships. They will assist rural students from Australia. We have both hall and village rural scholarships. And then we have high achiever scholarships. We like to do as much as we can to recognise academic progress, given that that's a serious reason that we're actually here. Annually we hold an academic dinner and that's the venue at which scholarships are presented. It's a very prestigious affair and we always have an eminent public speaker to speak to the students, usually about where it is their degree got them and uh, the value in studying hard but also maintaining a life and a balance and that's something that we consider incredibly important. It's not just study itself. It's maintaining a balance in your life. So I'm going to try my best for the Thank you very much. Whilst we don't have anywhere near enough financial scholarships and we hope to build the fund up further, there is still a number there and it is well worth looking at the university scholarships page to see if there's anywhere that you can slot yourself in and win a scholarship or a bursary. Oh dear, oh dear.